back to the stories. There's no real logic, uh, sense, uh, attraction, pleasure. There's nothing here. And really, so <laughs> stay away. Oh, no, no. Share, subscribe, like. Um, contribute to our uh, PayPal account. Uh, send us via what is that? Not Vmail. Just, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> we don't have that. But um, given the popularity <laughs> of this show, we prepare daily. Uh, we, we need to do something to monetize it. Um, in the last 50 years or so. So, uh, there was a um, um, uh, chaotic approach to this new series. It's not as if with the others it was so following the timeline, good, flowing, interesting, so much wisdom, la sagesse, uh, magnifique. Uh, but really, for for, for Adrian, it was um, a hodgepodge. So the day before yesterday, I think we stopped. But then three days ago or so, I was talking of the Pentecostals, and I just left it there with a the boat, with a big ship. So let me try and come back, as if it you know, makes any sense anymore. But Let's get back. Uh, so, we met in Constanza, and these two girls, women, 20 years old, I'm not sure. Uh, and we took them to the harbor, and this is where they had anchored one of the two, three, four biggest ships in this reel. Uh, 50,000 tons. 500,000 tons, I again have no idea, they're big, huge, uh, probably a tenth of the size of what they do now because it's so much more efficient. <coughs> they carry a whole city in the water. Uh, but uh, we had to climb a big ladder, as I mentioned, one, one was in a skirt, and that was a bit strange. Also on the ship, yes, um, welcoming, apparently, but then was it a trap that would they had to be registered with the, with the local KGB, with the Securitate? Surely, clearly, most of them, officers and that, had to because they were going abroad and that was uh, where um, uh, evil lies, communism equals heaven, capitalism is hell, uh, as China is, is <clears throat> trumpeting even now with the economies with the COVID and the change of policies and some protests, they, they still insist on America and the West as how they fall down, how everything, I mean, people in these places with democracies were just lost <clears throat> and China is the best. Um, we know it, we've been there. Animal Farm, that's that's the best description. Uh, and 1984 with the Big Brother and the torture and all that. So, um, at the end, they acted uh, strangely uh, in trying to, as far as I can remember from the ship, some officers, I don't think we've seen the captain, maybe we did. Um, to, to, to see if, to, to do their duty towards the agencies of Securitate, uh, where we, um, genuine visitors, did we have any interest? Uh, let's put that aside, it's not really so important. It was just a, a little, as I said, bizarre uh, incident. But then there's more. <laughs> Uh, witness in store, uh, there was, because um, one from the shore, but down from the ship, uh, 
we started thinking, what will we do next? And how will we eat something because we're dying of hunger? I mean, I'm just kidding. It wasn't like that. I mean, uh, again and again. It's, this is an <laughs> expose. This is a, a, a denunciation of the communist regime. effect it had on people. Look, that's uh, that's what they did to me. If there wasn't for that abuse, and <laughs> imagine what um, this story could have been like. You know, it, would, it would have millions of people you know, subscribed and, and being given the, the meaning of life, the, the secret of, of happiness, everything else. Uh, from here, the source of Halcyon days of Nirvana. But as it is, they just um, stifled that. It was there, but the commies did it. And you too. You're a communist. Goddamn communist. Uh, call me red. No. The red is, is, is better. Puccini, look, green and red. The blue and gold is, is a commie agent. Um, so, uh, still, we discussed uh, the shortages we had. Um, uh, we didn't really have money to plan on, on me staying another day, on how, uh, what if, if we eat some yogurt. That, I, I don't know. We, but that's for students and young people everywhere. Few of them are rich. The two girls intervened and said, um, we'll take care of it. I mean, not immediately. They, they discussed a little between them while we were uh, trying to figure what the next steps are for the day if I should go back to... to this was Constanza, I mentioned, to Bucharest. Uh, what? <clears throat> and so they, and they, they made a phone call. They made a phone call. They said, uh, uh, we'll... We'll take care of it. But I stop here and continue tomorrow, inshallah, God willing.